I have guidance cards from my uh, energy therapist. This is like the most LA video you've ever seen in your entire life. Crystals, salt rock lambs, guidance cards. Ah. Hello, I am Chloe Lukasiak and I'm here with Refinery29. Welcome to my dream digs. Wait one sec before you come in. Let's get comfy. Don't forget to subscribe below and come on in. Welcome to my dream digs. When deciding the vibe of my room, I really wanted it to feel classy and sophisticated, but also cozy and warm and just really representative of my personality. So this is my nightstand. This has turned into a self-care station. A giant humidifier, and it's not the cutest, but it keeps my face dewy and glowy. And then I have a giant salt rock lamp too. Not only is the light very vibey, but it also produces negative ions, which counteracts the positive ions that our bodies produce. These two are plugged into the outlet, so this is, it just doesn't even work. It's just for looks. But sometimes when I want to read at night, it's kind of a problem, because like I just kind of sit here in the dark. I have a grounding crystal. My energy is all up here. I'm always just, I feel like very like out of body. It's best to put it on your nightstand because while you're sleeping, relieves we'll stress. So the clock, there's not a huge backstory on this. I didn't want a digital clock. I wanted something a little bit more vintage. So, you know, it matches, it flows. The top of the nightstand is all my self-care stuff. I have pillow spray. I have all of my journals. So I journal every morning. I I kind of think about the things that I did that like I was, I'm proud of, things I wish I would have done differently. Um, I think about like highs, lows, I think about how I'm feeling that day. I always keep my current book in my nightstand so I can read it at any point. I'm reading Reaper at the Gates. It's um, the third book in the in Ember and the Ashes series. Oh, I also have sleep masks. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but if I do use it, I have to use it on the weekends. Otherwise, it's just like, I just don't wake up. If you've been watching my Instagram stories, I have this Spider Chronicle series happening. A family of spiders decided to make a home for themselves in my room. Baby spiders all around. That's probably my least favorite problem. The exterminator has come twice and I guess it's like taken care of. I haven't seen any spiders in like a couple of weeks, so we should be good. But that was not fun dealing with that. So now we have my little succulents but I actually say good morning to them every morning. I don't know why, it's my little routine. I need like change often. I'm one of those people who's always like changing something up about my life. I like to add new things. So this is my dresser. I have a jewelry tower right here. I have this pumpkin, because we are ready for Halloween. We have been ready for Halloween since September 1st. So next we have my TV and I'm kind of ashamed. I feel like I'm all about the healthy habits, except for the TV. I'm looking for like another feel-good show, so if you have recommendations, let me know. Apparently I have a thing with towers, because this is my makeup tower. And then I have this little vintage camera. Film is my entire life. I am so passionate about it. So because everything is online, unfortunately, I do all of my college classes in my bedroom at my little desk. This used to just be a vanity, and then online school happened, and now I spend every waking moment at this desk. I now have an ugly chair. It is the bane of my existence because it ruins the vibe of the room, and because of online school, I sit all day long. And when I was using my other chair that was more aesthetically pleasing, it was cute, but my back was like, literally like breaking. So we had to get this one. It's fine, it does its job. We accept her. <laughs> so I actually didn't get into like making mood boards, vision boards, all that until quarantine. So luckily none of my like goals or expectations were shot down because of this mess of a year. But now that we're getting into that, I just bought poster boards. I just found pictures and I'm about to make my first vision board. I'm really excited about it. I hope 2021 doesn't do me dirty. This right here is my prized possession. I 
am an avid reader. I love reading. I love writing. It is a very, very, very big part of my life. Um, and my goal in life is to have a library in my house one day. Like I want a big library with a grand piano and a fireplace. My dad used to take me to the library every Sunday. My love for reading really grew then and it really bonded my dad and I because we shared that love of reading and um, all of these books mean something important to me. They've had an impact on my life in some way. So this is my other nightstand. In the top drawer I have my journal. So I have the other journal that I'm currently writing in but I have I got a few extra ones because I want to do like all of them the same and I didn't want I was really worried about them running out and like not being able to buy more so I think I'm just gonna stock up on all of these. Hopefully one day they can rest on the shelves of my grand library. Maybe next to the books I publish. We have a lot of visions for this library. <laughs> Bottom drawer also a junk drawer. We don't talk about those. I would say my best home find for my bedroom, probably my bed. It's just the best thing in the world to me because it's super comfortable. But I also think because it like curves in like this, it makes it more of like a cocoon. So every time I lay in here and it's so high up and just I just get like all cuddly and it's just amazing. Also, I'm really obsessed with my sheets. It's writing. I was like, oh, we got to get those. And I just think it's really personal to me. Thank you for watching my dream digs. Bye. Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here.